Hi everyone. For Steam Next Fest, February 2024, I played the Guards demo. Guards, with an exclamation point, is a co-op first-person brawler. It's developed by Wilder Zone and Low-Key Game Dev. Most of the combat is with melee weapons, though there are ranged options. The Steam page suggests the game can be played solo, but the demo contained numerous warnings that the game expects you to play in a group of 2-4. to four. The game definitely has a goofy, chaotic vibe to it. Movement feels a bit stiff, like you're walking on stilts. Melee feels frantic. When you swing a weapon, there's a bit of a wind-up and a swinging arc that makes it feel authentic, but not necessarily satisfying. The hits are visceral, and the combat pacing is quick and brutal. Outside of the kiting game that you can play, there's something compelling about the kick in this game. It's so satisfying, and the physics of enemies when you kick them are top tier. I really enjoyed the kick. If the developers got rid of 90% of the weapons and made the game primarily about kicking, I would call that a good move. I want to take this kick, I want to put it in other games, it's that good. There are other weapons in this game, but I wasn't impressed by anything else that I picked up. The wall at the start of the game suggests that there are a lot of weapons, and hopefully they enable a wide variety of playstyles, but I didn't play long enough to get more than a handful. I have concerns that a wide variety means each weapon didn't get a lot of developer time. There is a mission selection system that suggests a fair amount of depth, asking the group to strategically select missions. There are rough points that I assume will get smoothed out as the game approaches release, but even if they aren't, it wasn't a deal breaker for me. The environments feel a bit too large in general, and the mission environments I played didn't really sell the theme. It felt less like I was a lawman stopping crime, and more like I was just some dude beating up mean dudes and then tying them up. No social commentary intended. Would I recommend this game? For the solo player, no. The difficulty is definitely not balanced for that. I'm not actually sure if that's an intentional choice or not. For a group? I would, I would definitely try this again with a group. Perhaps when it's a bit more polished. The mission variety and the weapon variety suggest a fair bit of potential depth here of how a group might try to operate. Or it might just all be an unbalanced mess. Ho hopefully not. I'd give it a chance though. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments.